Super Bowl social media wrap up, special bonus edition. Charlie Sheen, call me Dorner, maybe. The Peacock, now in a ratings tailspin. Grammy viewers down, Walking Dead viewers up. This is the TVNews.TV for Tuesday, February 12th, 2013. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington, and we begin with a bonus edition Super Bowl social media wrap up, courtesy of new media guru, John Leland from Combridges.com. Hi, Jeff, and welcome to the New Media, New Marketing uh, recap for Super Bowl 47. Uh, it was kind of an amazing Super Bowl in a lot of ways, as most of you know. But on the social media front, it really was uh, not only a big win for the Ravens, it was a big win for Twitter. Uh, and there's some really interesting data. But first, the one thing we also want to notice is that people watch the Super Bowl on the web. Uh, about a 50% increase from 2.1 million to 3 million. And we have to give props to CBS for making the, the game available online via streaming. And people do want to watch when they want to watch, wherever they want to watch. So watch for streaming to continue in our new media world. But what we saw was about on the advertising front as a great metric for the whole advertising arena, if you will, is that about half of the spots in the Super Bowl had Twitter hashtags, those pound signs for those of you that don't tweet, uh, that identify, you know, advertisers, themes, subjects, comments. And the hashtags have become very popular, way to the uh, detriment of Facebook, by the way. So website URLs are still the number one way that people are connecting advertisements in the big game uh, onto the web. And the hashtags increased uh, about five times, from 7% to 38% uh, of the spots had Twitter hashtags, whereas Facebook URLs actually went down from 7% to 11%. Twitter is really becoming the real-time go-to area. The other thing that we want to notice is that the Instagram, what I call the visual web uh, component, really moved forward in a way that it hadn't before. And Oreo had a call to action. They had a contest about whether you like the cream or the cookie better. Um, and their spot and their call to action to vote via Instagram really put them at the head of the pack, both in terms of Instagram, Twitter. And finally, Twitter affirmed its commitment to play in the advertiser and TV space by acquiring the really important social media metrics analytics company, uh, Bluefin Labs. So Bluefin Labs is now owned by Twitter and watch for Twitter to continue a major role in its relationship as a uh, second screen app that is a not going away dimension of our TV viewing experience. So the big game gave some major lessons Twitter taking the lead, the visual web and Instagram coming on strong, and Twitter, Twitter affirming its commitment uh, to stay at the head of the pack in terms of interactive TV apps. The New Media New Marketing Report, brought to you by the new book, Internet Marketing, Eight Key Concepts Every Business Must Know, the most practical and concise introduction to internet marketing, written by the TVNews.TV's very own new media, new marketing contributor, John Leland. Available now at Amazon.com. Well, let me take you back just a short time ago. Remember when NBC was flying high late last fall? Well, now a month into the mid-season, NBC means nothing but carnage. Do No Harm arrived DOA and was summarily canceled after posting the worst ratings in Big Four broadcast TV history. 1600 pen and deception summarily shunned by viewers smash no longer a smash but more of a ratings smash up so with no huge sports events or any other big tickets on the horizon for NBC they must do something truly extraordinary to pull out of this ratings death spiral did you see Charlie Sheen try via video to bring rogue cop Christopher Dorner in from the cold? Well, if you haven't, have a look. Christopher Dorner, this is Charlie Sheen. You mentioned me in your manifesto, so thank you for your kind words. I am urging you to call me. Let's figure out together how to end this thing. Yeah, thanks, Chuck Wagon, but having you act as the voice of reason in this situation is amount to 
ordering more ice aboard the RMS Titanic. Thanks, but no thanks. This is the TVnews.tv, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Now, Super Bowl 47 proved that you just can't set a ratings record each and every year. And without the compelling Whitney Houston tragedy to drive eyeballs, the 2013 Grammys fell flat when compared to the 2012 record. It was down nearly 30% to 28.4 million viewers. You know what, we've got a pretty good idea where the viewers went. <laughs> they were battling zombies over at AMC's The Walking Dead, which notched its greatest audience ever with 12.3 million viewers. All right, a reminder that TV tarot Prudence Terrio now has her very own internet TV show, aptly named The TV Tarot. A new edition is coming soon, but you can see the current edition on the TV Tarot Facebook page. Remember, if you want to get your message in living video to the TV industry, become a sponsor of the TVnews.tv. To get started, email us at advertise at the TVnews.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.